Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today, to take a look at a small device that will improve a lot our TV or cinema experience at home, giving us the freedom to connect to any audio device that has higher quality audio than our TV or our projector. One of the issues that we have on our day is that we choose a great TV and then the audio experience is not that great. Sometimes we have a new solid system and we have no way to connect and sometimes we have older systems and no way to connect. This audio down mixer will solve that. Now let's take a look at it. Starting with the unboxing experience, it's a really simple device. So we will find the HDMI 2.0 audio down mixer and we will also find the power supply and the manual. Now this device will be able to extract audio without losing any of the image quality that we have. And that means that we will have passed through on the CSC capabilities. We will also have 10-bit HDR pass through. So all the features that our multimedia device has will go through the device to our TV. And this is a really important factor. There are some devices that will compress audio, will compress the image. And when we have a 4K output that we go through that particular device, we will only have a 1080 or 720 uh, image resolution and that's not what we want. We want to keep everything. So this is something that you should have in mind when we are selecting your audio down mixer. In terms of the interface, it's really simple as well. There is a DC in, a selector between TV, bitstream and two channel and an HDMI input. On the other side, it has an HDMI output, optical out and the coaxial output. How do we connect this? It's also simple as well. I'm using an NVIDIA Shield TV as an example. So the HDMI cable that comes from the NVIDIA Shield will go to the HDMI input. I'm forgetting to connect the power, but <laughs> there is the power cable to connect to the DC in and it's easy as that. On the other side, we have a HDMI output that we will connect to our TV or to our projector. And then we also have the choice of the audio output that we want. Now I've got a set of speakers right over here that have optical input. So I can use the best, which is the optical output on the Aura HDMI 2.0 audio down mixer to connect to audio system through optical, or if I have an older system, I can also connect via the coaxial analog cable. So it's just a matter of choice. Now, having all that in mind and for all the specifications, link will be down below. But at this moment, let's just spend a couple of minutes taking a look at a real example. Now with a example setup around the Aura HDMI 2.0 audio down mixer, which at this moment is receiving the HDMI input from the NVIDIA Shield that I've got right over here that supports 4K at 60 Hertz and also the array will do that pass through. So we will not lose the image quality, nor, nor the CEC capability. So no issues whatsoever. We will have the same quality of the device that it's outputting. In this particular case, the NVIDIA Shield doesn't go that high, although it's an awesome device. Now, what else do we have right over here? We have the HDMI output, which is going directly to this display. Display. Have in mind that this display does not emit audio. So what I've got right over here is a cheaper budget sound bar which has the audio from the display. And this is a small setup for a computer that I've got here on the office. So uh, if I put it right over here, the volume, we can hear just a sport event in Portuguese. So hopefully I don't get any copyright issues. But what we have right over here is this. I also have a optical output connected to the HDMI down mixer, which is connected to this stereo speaker right over here. Actually, this two stereo speaker. So if I put the volume right now, hopefully you can hear a difference between the two systems. Estamos na segunda metade da quinta volta. Entretanto, o Pitcock vai acelerar o mais que pode. O Kiger nesta zona estará a ser. And I'm not comparing these two systems because we have done that in the past. This is a budget option. This is a more expensive option. Now, I want to focus that the audio down mixer will give us the freedom to output audio to any device that we have 
like a set of speakers right over here, giving us a better audio quality and ultimately giving us a better experience when we are watching movies or series. And hopefully with audio, we can have a better idea. So this will be a little bit better than your TV audio. And if this display had audio, it would be even worse than the sound bar. So not being bad, it's not the audio that we are looking for for a movie experience. So probably this is the next set and the difference is just used. Now it's not easy to pass audio to that side of the screen because there are a lot of factors. But what I can hear with my own ears is just a awesome difference from not only the volume because we are not pushing on this system and we are not pushing on this system as well so it's not the volume it's the audio quality that we are talking about and in this particular case as we are extracting the audio through a optical interface it will be crystal clear now having in mind that we will be able to pass through 4k at 60 hertz as we have seen we will be able to extract hdmi audio to multiple channels including the optical that we are using at this moment but we can also use the analog audio having in mind that we can also pass through 10-bit hdr and cec pass through as well so the experience will be transformed using a small device such as this and to finish it up at this moment i've got it right over here at the front but it's so small that in a normal setup i would hide it beneath uh, my stereo or beneath my tv and that would be it everything would be clean so this is just a mess right over here but for this setup example which hopefully will help you to decide if this is the device that you need and basically this is it a really simple device that will allow us to improve a lot the audio experience that we have and have in mind that i'm not doing any comparison between this system or the soundbar or even a tv that we could have right over here with sound in this particular case this display has no sound it only has pass through which is the example that i used with the sound bar that i've got right over there which is a lower quality than this one right over here so just to exemplify that with a small device such as this we can improve a lot the experience that we already have in image but in this particular case to enrich the audio and give us a overall better experience hopefully this video was helpful to take out the questions that you had about a down mixer and the difference that it will make on our daily basis on tv or cinema setups that we have at home don't forget to check out all the specifications that it has because it's really important and if you are comparing between different devices that is really important as well because some devices do not have the features that this one has regarding the 4k pass-through cec 10-bit hdr so that we keep on having the best image quality but improving the audio if the video was helpful don't forget that you usual thumbs up if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so so that you receive news as soon as they come out my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one